Hello again from CES 2020. I'm here with Scott Morrison, Director of Advanced Engineering at Panasonic. Can you tell me exactly what it is your job role is? And then we want to talk a little bit about what happened at the presser. Absolutely. I have the best job in the whole world. I get to work on advanced technologies um, brought to us by a big company centered in Japan and apply them to automotive related products in the US. It continues to expand in scope and we'll talk a little bit about that today. At your presser on Monday, we saw this vehicle behind us, the Trocos Motors fire truck. Can you just tell us a little bit about that and what you have brought into that partnership with Trocos? Absolutely. So the fire truck behind us is a very right sized property for putting out fires in hard to reach places like parking garages. And what Panasonic has brought to this announcement today is the um, hardened tough book, Panasonic tough book inside the cabin mm -hmm. to allow connectivity for the providers. And this is part of uh, something that we provide to many police departments and fire departments across the US today. And so you see this as a vehicle that's going to be used in metropolitan areas, harder to reach places. And it's also a much more affordable delivery vehicle for, I'll call it, more remote areas that can't afford large fire trucks. From what I gather, you haven't been involved with the batteries or the drivetrain, but you've brought in this t the tough book, and what does that bring to the vehicle? So, so we've been working with Tropos for about a year and a half now, um, exploring many different technologies that Panasonic has, mm -hmm. and the first one we've been able to um, meet their needs and requirements for is the connectivity piece to our OneConnect back office that can provide services through the tough book to the fire departments uh, that procure this vehicle. And then looking across the fleet of vehicles that Tropos has, we're providing more, uh, I'll call it purpose-built hardware designed in, much like we have in the Harley-Davidson Livewire and some of their other products. One of the other things that you talked about at the presser was the UL listing for e-bikes. Now, why does that matter? What, why should anybody, why should any of our viewers care that an e-bike is UL listed? Well, and so, so maybe I'll back up a second and say that we look at mobility as it's changing very quickly from motorcycles to small utility vehicles to e-bikes as a spectrum. And we've got the opportunity with the e-bike end of the spectrum mm -hmm. to really refine um, solutions that can be brought up into the rest of the marketplace and disrupt that with, uh, with, with new solutions for, for bikes, for e-bikes, for motorcycles, and for uh, small micro, micro mobility vehicles. So the UL listing is essential because it is a standard related to the safety of those products that Panasonic is very proud to have been a part of crafting that standard with, with many of our competitors and in the industry as a whole, as well as we are the first one to announce an e-bike that is um, compliant to that standard and has passed the UL testing. And so we're very proud to have received that certificate from UL this, just this week. So we're going to talk a little bit, you touched on it earlier, your partnership with Harley Davidson and also obviously your well-known partnership with Tesla. What kind of things has that brought to you that can be used to advance electric vehicle adoption? So, so our, our partnership with Harley Davidson has, has been this connected services development from the very beginning and we've aggressively put together a package that meets the needs of Harley Davidson's customers by giving them access to tamper alerts for their precious bicycles when they're not located in the same place. Uh, for the live wire, we provide battery status back to the customers. And that idea of connected batteries is something that, that applies to Tesla and any other vehicle manufacturer that has batteries. The idea of a connected battery is something that's very provocative and very relevant for the entire mobility spectrum going forward. So we have, with Tesla, we've, we've sold more cells in the automotive space than anyone else in the world, and we're very proud to be the largest, largest automotive provider of, of batteries. Um, we'll continue to build on that and, and become a provider of these end-to-end -end systems over time, uh, taking the connectivity that we have with Harley and we're showing here today with the battery capability that, that Panasonic is world-renowned for. The battery technologies that you've developed with Tesla, are they likely to become available to other providers? Oh, oh, oh they are, and in yeah. fact, they're, they're probably one of the most widely sought after products um, in the industry right now. Every yeah. conversation I get to have with uh, people in the mobility space most often starts with, can we have your batteries? So it's a great place for us to be to have what is really appreciated as the best battery in the business and we'll continue to refine and, and deliver that. And do you see that relationship continuing forward into the future with Tesla? With, I'd say with all of the mobility providers outside of the, the passenger vehicle market that everybody focuses on now because it's such a large volume and a, and a large presence here in the United States. But as that mobility um, ecosystem 
changes, we'll continue to be a provider um, from e-bikes all the way up through um, you know, large over-the-road trucks. Thank you very much. That's been really interesting. And we will be back with more news from CES very soon. So keep checking our channel. Make sure you're subscribed. And if you haven't already, why not consider donating through Patreon or Ko-fi? We love your donations. We love you all, but we love your donations as well. So, you know, just go check that out for us. And we'll see you very soon.